Miss Couture once again. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourself formally to those who don't know you. Hey guys, my name is Couture, like Juicy Couture, but with a K. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm 25. I'm popping. That's it. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's all you need to know. <laughs> this is my friend. Ooh. His name is Caliber. If you would like to see some of the merchandise that I sell, you can go to K L K A L I B E R dot underscore on Instagram. Feel free. Everything is up there. Links and everything. Okay. What were your expectations before you came to DR? What did you expect? I definitely expected heat. Um, heat. Islands, like the island life. And surprisingly, that wasn't how we lived. Like, we didn't live like the island life. Because we live in San, we live in San Domingo. So it was more like a city, which was so unexpected. And it was very much like New York because it was so loud. Like the buses, people protesting, people using like, um, what's the thing? Bullhorns all throughout the day. I didn't expect none of them. Oh, I felt like I was in New York. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, it's three o'clock in the morning. It's so loud. But that was my, those were my two expectations. Oh, and a lot of drinking. Um, what has been your, your favorite experience that you've gotten here? Uh, I think my favorite experience has had to have been the food, the fruit, yes. and visiting Isla Seona. Um, I really came to learn Spanish, but I'm like a tourist person. I know I don't live here, even though I lived here for a month, but for me, I needed to get the experience, you know, like the beach, the pictures, the food, the gifts, you know, the things that we don't necessarily have in the States. So I needed to feel the benefits of it. Um, and feeling like a tourist, like I know I'm a tourist. I wanted to feel like a tourist. Like that was one of the reasons why I came aside learning Spanish. <laughs> so how were the tourist scenes? Were they nice and clean and affordable? Did you feel safe? Would you recommend this to a, a woman who has a who needs a certain level of standard or explain that to the people? Um well see I didn't come by myself. So um my friend kind of informed me like it, one thing about me. My name is Couture because like I'm, I have like a standard about everything. So like I dress a certain type of way. I am always a certain type of way. So coming here, I had to bring that down to not appear as American so that um, like I guess an advantage wouldn't be taken of us. So it was kind of like hard, not necessarily hard to adjust to it, but even with my bringing it down, it was still like up there for hair. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't have on real heels, like, I don't have on diamonds in them, like, I'm not even, I don't have my brands, like, I don't know, so, I think that if you come, you definitely need to do your research about, you know, just, just the culture, um, just knowing what, what they do and what they don't do, like, and being able to, you know, know the difference between United, you know, rules in the States and rules here, um, the tourist spots were great, like,